Well, hello, hello, and good morning, my storytime friends. My name is Miss Wendy with the Rockridge Regional Library, and this is Storytime Live. I'm so glad you're here to join us because this week we are reading all about ocean animals. There's so many types of animals that live in our oceans, and the stories about them are endless but I picked out three stories today that I think you will enjoy. But before we do any of that, let's sing our hello song. So here's how it goes. We salute to say hello, and then friends are your two first fingers, and they give each other a hug, and then it's time, you point to your watch, to say, you point to your lips and then out, hello, and then you salute again, and that's American Sign Language. So here we go. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, very good. Do you have a favorite ocean animal? Well, I do. My favorite ocean animal is an octopus because they're just awesome. Just in general, everything about an octopus is cool. So, my next question for you, are you ready for a story? Should we get started? Okay, let's all stand up just for a minute and then we can get some energy out and then we'll be ready to read. So, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. And let's see, what do we do next? Let's march. If you're ready for a story, do a march. If you're ready for a story, march around. That's better. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, march around. Excellent. Okay. Next one, let's jump. Get a little energy going. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, jump up and down. If you're ready for a story, jump up and down. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, jump up and down. I know you guys know how to do that. Excellent. Okay, so maybe the most important one. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. Can you freeze? If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. How long can you freeze? Oh, that's long. Oh, okay, that's it. No more, no more. Awesome. Okay. Now, one last thing before we read. I like to take deep breaths so that our bodies can take in the oxygen and get our brains ready to learn. Okay, so I put my first finger and my thumb together and I do a deep breath in and then out. And then I put my ring finger and my thumb together. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Then I put my ring finger and my thumb together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Then I put my pinky finger and my thumb together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And thumbs up because we love ocean animals. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now I feel ready. Are you ready to read? 
Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> now our first book. I love because there are so many bright and colorful fish in this book. Most of them make believe, but beautiful nonetheless. And it's called Hooray for Fish. And it's written and illustrated by Lucy Cousins. So here's a little fishy. Let's see what happens. Ooh, beautiful coral. And this comes to us from Candlewick Press. Hello, I am Little Fish, swimming in the sea. I have lots of fishy friends. Come along with me. Okay, let's go see who his fishy friends are. Ooh, hello, 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 fish. Red fish, blue fish, and yellow fish. Hello, spotty fish, stripey fish, happy fish, gripey fish. One, two, three. How many can you see? Okay, shall we count them together? There's a lot. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And don't forget 21, our little storyteller fish. Now what's funny about this page is this fish looks like a strawberry. And this fish looks like a bumblebee. And this fish is a pineapple, which I think is hilarious. <gasps> Hello, Ellie Fish, Shelly Fish. Hello, Hairy Fish, Scary Fish. I Fish, Shy Fish, Fly Fish, and Sky Fish. Oh, fat and thin fish. Hello, twin fin fin fish. Look at the twins. Curly whirly, twisty twirly. Upside down, round and round. Now, what is it called when it's a bunch of fish swimming together? It's called a school, a school of fish. So many friends, so many fish. Splosh, splash, splish. Look at these cute ones. But where's the one I love best, even more than all the rest? Who do you think that's going to be? <gasps> Hello, Mom. Hello, little fish. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hooray for fish. Yay. The end. Wow, look at all the fish. Do you have a favorite fish? I, if I had to pick one from this group, it might be the eyeball fish because I just think that's cool. The end. Okay, so our next song is about fish and it's about counting. Now that we have counted to 21, maybe it's time for us to do a little more counting. Okay, now this song, some of you might know, 
but if you don't know it, I will teach it to you and it's pretty easy. So we're going to count to 10 with our 10 fingers. And so it starts with five though, and it will go one, two, three, wait, I'm doing that wrong. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll do this. Once I caught a fish alive, and then we're going to count to 10, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. So we're going to throw that fish back. Why did you let him go? So we're going home. And then because he bit my finger so, which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. So that's the song. And why do you think this little finger the fish wants to bite? Does it look like anything a fish would like? Maybe a worm? That's right. Okay, let's do it together. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Very good. Very good, you guys. Good counting, good hand movements. Love it. Excellent. Okay. So, shall we read another fishy book? Yes, we should. Now, this is a classic, a lovely little book called Swimmy. It's about a little black fish. He turns it around. And it's written and illustrated by Leo Leone. Let's find out what's going to go on with this little fish. And this book is brought to us by Alfred A. Nymph, New York. Okay. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was, a bla was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. There's swimming. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all of the little red fish. Only a swimmy escaped. He swam in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Swimming. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. There he is. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of the rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. 
the big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Okay, they're going to come up with that. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Can you see them forming the shape of a fish together? And when he learned to swim like one, and then, whoops, well, sorry, and when they learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. They're swimming. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end. So what do you think? Is that a good idea to work together to protect each other? I think that is a lovely idea because everybody wants to get out there and play, right? Okay, so why don't we all stand up for a little bit and move around? Now, I have I would love to be a fish in the ocean swimming. So this song is kind of about pretending to be a fish. So if I were a fish, I'm pretending to swim. I put my hands together and I would do this. And I'd move around. And there's a little song. And so you can get up and put your hands like this and you can swim around your room. Okay, so here it goes. I think you'll catch on. We'll do it twice. Okay, one, two, three. Did you ever see a fishy, a fishy, a fishy? Did you ever see a fishy swim this way and that? And now we're going to be, do big swims. Swim this way and that way and that way and this way. Did you ever see a fishy swim this way or that? Very good. Where did you swim to? Did you swim in the other room and come back? Or did you stay where you were? Okay, let's do it one more time. One, two, three. Did you ever see a fishy, a fishy, a fishy? Did you ever see a fishy swim this way and that? Swim this way and that way and that way and this way. Did you ever see a fishy swim this way or that? Okay, did you swim back to your spot so we can read another book? I hope so, I did. Okay, we've got one more book. <clears throat> and this is a really nice book to end with because I find it very relaxing. Whenever I say the word breathe, I want you to take a big deep breath like this whale right here, okay? So this is a book called Breathe, and it's written and illustrated by Scott Magoon. That means he wrote the words and he made the pictures. Look at all those whales. Big ones and little ones. And this is a Paula Wiseman book brought to us from Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Breathe by Scott Magoon. Breathe, little whale. Play all day. And swim, and swim, and swim. Breathe. Dive. Down. Deep.
explore. Ooh, what is, what is this whale found? Oh, cool. It looks like a sunken ship. Make new friends. I bet Swimmy's in there somewhere. Swim. Listen to the sea. Sing. Breathe. But fear not. Uh-oh. Looks like if they go up to breathe there, they may encounter a polar bear. Find another way up. Oh, oh they're over there. Not to worry, the bear is way over here. Swim. Most of all, love and be loved. Dream big and sleep deep tonight. Breathe. This is a good book before nap time and a good book before de uh, bedtime. The end. I feel very relaxed after reading this book. So, my friends, I hope you enjoyed reading books about animals that we can find in the ocean. And a few little announcements before we say goodbye. The first one is Next Thursday, a week from today, is the end of our summer reading program. So that means it's time to start thinking about getting your reading logs filled out and doing your Animal Nation challenges because when they're done, you can come to the library and pick up your free ice cream coupon. And if you've been participating in the Animal Nation challenges, you can come pick up your patch. Now we're having a big end of summer reading party next Thursday outside at four o'clock. There will be games and balloons and animal visitors and it'll be a lot of fun and you can bring your reading log there to collect your coupons and your patches and we hope you will join us again next Thursday at four o'clock. But until then let's wash our hands because we always do that. Are you ready? Tops and bottoms. One, two, three, Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. Very good. Until next Thursday, well, next Wednesday, we have an outside story time at 1030, and then we'll do another online story time Thursday at 1030. So until then, I'll see you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next week. Bye.